Anyways, so this is like two days ago. We're playing league play. Cold War fucking league play. So like literally the most irrelevant shit ever. But I just sometimes I get tired of playing pubs just because like it gets a little boring just just fucking shitting on these morons in pubs all day. Like it, I, I want someone to shoot back at me. You know, give me a little challenge sometimes. So we're playing a little league play. We're in like a like a we're in a four man party of all old men. I think the average age of our party is probably twenty seven. Okay, I'm I'm gonna keep it real, dude. If you can't beat a group of thirty year old men in Call of Duty, like you gotta hang it up. You gotta find something new. Like you just some people got it, some people just don't got it. Okay, if you can't beat me at thirty, like you gotta find a new game. Anyways, so we're playing league, whatever. Um, one of the one of the people on my on my teams like his PC was fucking up or something. No, I'm being so serious. Average. Let me do. I'll, I'll do the average age right now. Okay, so I actually wasn't even the oldest guy on the team. Hold on. So it's me, almost thirty, an actual thirty year old with two kids, a twenty five year old, and a I think a twenty six year old with a kid. That's my crew. That's who I'm rolling up in league play with. If you can't beat that team, you gotta hang it up. You got to move on to a new game. Anyways, because that's the average age of fucking... That's the average age of like 28 with the average of one kid is crazy. If, you, if you're if you 18 years old playing COD all day and you get smoked by that team, like you got to like go play something else. Anyways, we're playing... This kid's PC fucks up. So we backed out to the lobby. And some kid that I guess we had played that night, I don't know how he joined. He joined probably off someone else who didn't have their... Uh, like their their privacy on or whatever, cause my shit's always like hidden, so you know random fucks aren't joining off me. Some random kid joins our our party. He's like, "Yo, Anthony, what's up?" Blah blah. blah. I'm like, "Who the fuck is this guy up in my shit?" And he's like, "Oh, we just played in league, bro." I'm like, "Oh, okay, that's cool, whatever." And uh, this our other teammate's PC was fucked up, so I was like, "Here, you can run a game with us real quick till he fixes it." Like, I'm trying to be nice to this fuck. Keep in mind, this ain't a little kid. This is not a little kid. He's probably like 21. This is not a kid. So, we, which I tried to play a game with him, but the lobby, you know sometimes on Cold War you get the failed to host lobby glitch or whatever, where I don't know how to, like what causes it, but you have to like reset your whole game. It's really annoying. Anyway, so we got the glitch. So we reset our shit. The, our other, our other teammate, our original guy that I actually know this guy, his shit was fine, so I invited him back. I didn't think anything of playing with this other random kid. So we're playing, whatever. We play a couple more. We get off for the night. The next day, I didn't even see this because on my Twitter, I have it set to where if you don't follow me, you're, I don't see your tweet. Because sometimes some of my tweets go like viral and like people who have no idea who the fuck I am and they don't understand that I'm trolling. They just start flooding my shit with like bullshit. I don't want to see anything from like people who don't understand that I'm trolling. So I have it I have it set to where I can't see if you don't follow me. So just so this now this kid, at first I didn't know it was this kid. This kid made a new Twitter account, right? He tweeted me and all of the people I was playing with. First of all, these people are are not in the scene they're not they're not youtubers so these are just normal guys playing cod he found their shit and tweeted all of us the same picture so he took a picture of um like a screenshot of the league play game and it was him killing me in the screenshot okay and now keep now a couple things i'm not gonna post any of this on the screen just because y'all probably go find this weird kid but um and then he probably gonna try to find my house, and then I'm gonna have to kill somebody. But anyways, so he t he took a picture. Now keep he took a picture of the first like probably six seconds of the game. It's literally like five seconds into the game. I'm not even like looking at this kid. He like hit a flank and shot me in the back and took a pic and said, "Get shit on, dude." And and I was I just could not believe that this guy had had just took the time to do all this. Now keep in mind, he made a brand new Twitter to tweet us all this picture. He said, he tweeted me, he tweeted everyone I played with, he said, uh, tell Anthony he got shit on. Now, I'm also gonna throw this out here. We won that game, by the way. Um, they they rage quit after like two minutes into the game, they quit because they were getting shit on. 
But then afterwards, he went to theater and got a screenshot of him killing me and took a picture of it. It's ins absolutely insane to me. Insane. Okay? But it, we're, we're just getting started. So I didn't respond to that. I actually didn't even see it. They linked it to me. They're like, look at this freak. And um, they started, like, trolling him. They started hyping him up. They're like, yeah, you shit on bird. Good shit. You know what I mean? And this little, like, autistic little kid is excited. Like, oh, shit. They responded, right? So then... They're like going back and forth with him a little bit. He um, he then tweets a video and he said, I've been shitting on Birdman for 10 years. And he, he tweets a video. It's like a it's like a 10 second clip. It's it's actually a clip of one of my videos. I don't know what video it is. We may, maybe we can try to find it. I'm pretty sure it's a it's a road to master. You guys remember back in the day, I did a lot of Road to Masters, right? It's a clip from a Road to Master video, right? And it's, it's the, once again, it's like the first five seconds of the game. It's a open, okay, you know on Raid, in the open, it's, it's Raid S&D, by the way, S&D, even more embarrassing. And, you know, in the opening of any Raid, you get the middle chow with both ARs, right? The guy comes from Zigzag, the guy comes from Kitchen, you chow each other. Like, it's just like an unspoken thing on Raid. You always just go for that chow. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just for fun, whatever. So he clips this, it's a clip from my point of view, okay? And I'm, I'm, I'm doing a live com, I guess is what it sounds like. That's the only way I would have ever, like, posted that, wrote to Master Lives com. And I just, like, chow mid, whatever. And, uh, he, and he killed, the kid kills me. And he clipped that and he tweeted, he said, yeah, I've been shitting on this guy for 10 years. Right? 10 years. He, he said, yeah, I've been shitting on you for 10 years. And at first, I'm, I'm thinking, there's no way that's the same guy. There's no fucking way this is the same guy. Like, this guy's just a master troll. I was honestly a little bit impressed. I was, I was a little bit impressed. I was like, damn, this guy's like really dedicated to the troll. Like, I kind of appreciate it. So once again, they hype this kid up. He's getting excited or whatever. He, he, he tweets another screenshot. He says, um, look, this is a, a screenshot of him backing out of my lobby because he was scared of me. Y'all remember back in the day way... Okay, if you weren't around for like BO2 shit, this ain't gonna make sense to you. But like back in the day, multi-team, it was like a big deal. Like if you backed out of someone's lobby, with some nonsense fucking whatever. Just a little kid shit that we all used to do back then. So he tweets a, a, a screenshot of 240p. I could tell it was taken from YouTube. And he says, look, this guy backed out of my lobby, but I recognize the guy in the screenshot. The guy in that screenshot was like a 30-year-old man back in Black Ops 2. And I was like, nah, that ain't you because I know who the fuck that is, right? So then I'm like, hold on. Let me see who the fuck this guy is. Because at this point, I'm thinking, maybe I know this guy. This got to be someone that I know from back in the day or something that's like trying to troll and be funny or something because... This just doesn't make sense. Like, this is just weird. So then I did some investigating on this kid. I find his actual Twitter. Okay, I found his actual Twitter. I'm scrolling through this kid's media. I'm just seeing, like, who the fuck is this guy? I don't recognize him. I find a tweet from 10 years ago. I think it, I think it was 9 years ago, 2013. Okay, hold on. I find a tweet from 2013. Now, keep in mind, this kid's tweeted me, like, 700 times. I find a tweet of that exact same raid clip, except this time it's a screenshot of the raid S and D from 2013, nine years ago. He tweeted me that day that he did it. He screenshot. He said, "GGs get shit on. I still love your vids or something." And, and then I'm like, "Oh my god, this is actually him. This is the same kid." He tweeted me 10 years ago, and to this day, he saved a clip of him killing me on Call of Duty in Black Ops 2, and 10 years later, he tweeted me the clip, and I'm just, I'm mind blown that this is actually happening. Like, I forgot how, like, how many fucking losers were in the Call of Duty scene, like, you know what I mean? Because I stopped, like, caring about being good and shit so long ago i was like you know what i gotta get away from these weird ass kids let me just like make some funny videos or something right but back then like this type of shit used to happen every single day i forgot how weird these kids were and then this happened literally i've been playing cod for like a week we I, I, i've played like 10 league play matches and this already happened within like 10 games I already run into some fucking freak like this it was so like i, I just couldn't believe that it was it was actually eem 
it was him. He saved a clip of Black Ops 2 on his phone for 10 years, and, and he, he followed me for 10 years waiting for this moment. It was crazy. And the worst part is, he lost the game. He didn't win the game. You know what? Let's find it. I think we might be able to find it. Hold on. A raid s &D, Super quick 6-0. Don't tell me you got 6 0 Hold on. I'm just curious. Let me see. Something. No, it's already started mid-fucking game. Hold on. Um, hold on, you see a scoreboard. Oh, I think this is the game. Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is it. Hold on. Let me see something. Let me see. This is definitely... Here, here, I'll show you the actual clip. Hold on, I'll show you the actual clip. This is the game. Hold on. Let me show you the actual clip. It was on, um... I was on kitchen side. Hold on, I'll show you the actual clip. I think this is. I think this might be it. Literally right here. I think this is literally it. Hold on, this is literally it. I think. Burn. Do you ever look so. back at old videos and regret any of them, or would you do it all over again the same way if you had the opportunity? Um, I would have started. I would have started doing the wild shit sooner. Because like, by the time I started doing like the funny shit, I would have kept like I, I like what I did in Black Ops too. But Ghost was ass. I didn't have to continue in Ghost. I would have started doing the funnier shit then. Especially because the, well, the wild days back then, you could say whatever you wanted. So by the time I started doing it, then they fucking, they, they, you know, they started changing everything by the time I started doing that shit. Really, I only got to do it for like a year. That's probably the only thing. But I, I liked what I did in Black Ops 2, and anything before that was fun. They just think I'm booting, and they, and they leave the game. All right. Hold on. I will not leave the this game. This might they, be uh, it. Leave the pregame lobby or whatever. They break the lobby, so. It's getting kind of annoying at this point. Oh, wow. He beat me Yeah, there. that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the clip. Black and he had the AR out. This is the clip. That's the clip. Okay. What? Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. I'm just curious what the score is. It is. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Was this was up? This was October 2014. He's been hanging on to it for. So what is the actual? It's eight years. It's it's eight years. <laughs> <laughs> He'd been holding on to this clip for eight years. He got six owed and went. He went negative. I went. That's my only death of the game. I'm literally doing a live come on. I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> he he held on to this clip for eight years, by the way. But he held on to it for eight years. So that's anyways. That's it for the story time, bro. I just had to share that because it's been, it's been so long. Since I ran into a fucking, like, weird Call of Duty kid like that, bro, I forgot how weird they were, bro.